All right, so I just had my third post-op appointment. It's been three weeks since my surgery date. I'm going to go back for another post-op appointment three weeks from now, and that'll be my six weeks. And then by then, hopefully, I will pick out and measure my size. So I don't know, as you can see here, I just got this new bra in the mail, so I'm trying it on now. What do you think? They look nice, huh? They're still pretty high up here. I'm still having to do the push down massage, but um, today they just told me to start doing the table massage, which is basically putting my uh, the top of my boobs on the edge of the table and pushing towards the table and uh, to push them down. So that's what I got to do now. If I don't do that, then I got to wear the strap. So I think I'd rather do that than wear the strap because the strap is becoming really annoying. It was practically cutting me here because it was so tight. I had to wear it tight to push them down. But uh, other than that, um, that that has been going well. The one thing that hasn't been going well for me is them coming together. I've been doing the uh, squishing together exercises, I guess, and uh, I don't know if they're helping because they're still really far apart. Even now, like this bra is kind of squishing them a little bit together and there's still a really big gap in there and um, it's not too disappointing if it stays like that because you know what my boobs were so tiny I didn't really know if they were far apart or not because they were just so tiny they, they never touched because they were tiny then not because they were far apart so maybe all this time my boobs were supposed to be far apart from each other and this is where they're gonna stay so if that's the case then alright I'm fine I am just happy that they are so much bigger than they used to be, and I do not regret this surgery at all. Please spread the word. This has just made me so much happier, and I am just so glad I, I went through with the surgery. I'm happy with the size. I'm, I think they fit my body type really well right now. One day, maybe way, way, way in the future, I might get them a little bigger, but for right now, I, I'm good. I think I'm fine with this size, and I cannot wait to start trying on, you know, nice push-up bras and nice dresses and shirts and swimsuits. Can't wait to try on swimsuits, so it's almost winter time, so I probably won't be able to wear any. I'll just buy some maybe and then wear them next year <laughs> but, but overall I'm so happy I did this and if you're thinking about doing this do it and uh, one thing I do recommend is getting one size bigger than you thought you were gonna get because they do if you get them under the muscle at least I don't know about over the muscle but they do squish down and they they appear smaller than what you thought uh, that's kind of what I got, but you know what? I'm still actually really happy. At first, I thought they were smaller than what I thought, and I was kind of disappointed. But after a while, when I was able to kind of really look at them and then see them in this bra, I'm actually I'm so happy with the size. I I do not regret it at all. So, like I said, if you th if you are just thinking about it, do it. It's so much. Oh, I feel so much better about myself. I love the way they look. Uh, you know, as long as you do what they say to do, take your meds, massage them regularly, do the five, 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 five minutes a day, five times a day, five weeks, then they'll look fabulous. And they're not done dropping yet, but they still look really good already. And it's only been three weeks since surgery, and I'm very happy for them. So right now I'm using the scar gel on my incisions to kind of make them look better. They do look a lot better actually. They still look like an incision. I've only been wearing them for about a week so it's not going to be much difference. But uh, I'm going to keep wearing that for maybe three months, uh, maybe less if it goes away. I'm just going to keep wearing it until I notice the scar is gone. Uh, or the scar is at least a lot better than it used to be. It is definitely improving. I still feel a little numbness on this side mostly, a little on this side, more on the back side right over here. It also feels a little swollen still, and she said that was completely normal, so that's fine. I thought I felt some hardness down here, kind of, and I thought, oh my gosh, I thought it was like a hardening of the tissue, so it scared me. But she felt around and she's like, that's your rib. <laughs> I was like, oh, 
I guess I've never really touched myself there, so I don't know what my ribs feel like, I guess. But good, that's a good thing, I'm glad, because I thought it was a contracture or something, and they were going to have to laser it and give me meds for it. But uh, so far she says no contracture anywhere, no um, hardening anywhere, so it's probably because I've been doing my massages pretty greatly, I guess, but um, every every chance I get, if I'm sitting in traffic, I'm sitting on the toilet, or if I'm just sitting on the phone waiting for someone, if I'm alone, obviously, I don't do it in front of people, but any minute I get, I'll, I'm touching that, I'm moving them around, I'm massaging them, I'm doing, I'm pushing them down, I'm pushing them together. She also said I could do it like this if I wanted to, which is actually a lot easier on my arms. When they're like this for five minutes, my arms start to hurt, actually, because I'm a weakling. Anyway, overall, so far, three weeks after surgery, I'm very happy with myself. I'm very happy with <laughs> my boobs. I'm really happy with the surgeon choice. I'm so glad, you know, the, the nurses and all, and the PAs, they're so nice still, even after the surgery. I know that they have to be nice to kind of bait you, you know, to get you in. But even after they got me in and got my money, they're still so nice and so helpful and willing to answer all my questions and I always have some, always, I mean, you, you know, because they're not going to really answer every single question. They're going to tell you what you need to know, but there are things that you probably want to know. They're not going to say it. They're not going to say it unless you ask for it, so remember to ask your questions and write them down because I always forget mine. Uh, so, and I got this bra on Amazon, I don't know remember the seller is, but it's actually really nice. It's a zipper in the front, because I'm still not really able to hold my hands up above my head yet. I mean, I'm sure I could, but it would hurt a lot. Um, I actually did that on accident. Uh, I was closing my car trunk door, it opens up, and we were getting groceries out, and I, for a split second, forgot that I had a condition where I couldn't lift my arms above my head and I just whoosh, reached up there and grabbed it and shut it down and I'm like, oh, it felt like it ripped something, but no, everything is fine. Uh, so I got the zip in the front. It zips out, so I'm not going to unzip it because that would be not something I want to do on the internet. It's really comfy. There's a lot of padding, so that's that's also kind of contributing to the size right now is the padding, but altogether mostly this is my boob, and I'm glad to say that. In three weeks I have another post-op appointment, and I hope to make a video on that one, so you'll have to wait three weeks, unfortunately, unless there's uh, some sort of reason that I need to make a video. Maybe something changed, maybe something happened, hopefully nothing bad happens, but maybe I'll give you an update in like a week or so. But that's my update for now. Here's what they look like. Uh, I actually call them uh, Thelma and Louise. <laughs> from, you know, Thelma and Louise. Thelma's the right one, Louise is the left, I remember, because Louise starts with an L and left, I know, that's kind of weird, but if you name your boobs, I don't know, I do. That's what I refer them to. They are the girls, but they're mostly uh, Thelma and Louise. Okay, so get it right. But now, Thelma and Louise are definitely improved, and I'm very happy with it, so... I uh, hope to see you in my next video. Hopefully my next appointment will go well and I'll be able to try on more bras, hopefully. But we'll see. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you maybe in a week or so, but definitely in three weeks. Thanks. Bye.